when you say being met, you know, if just to give an example, if somebody um, was not met or by their parent, meaning their parent wasn't present, wasn't able to love and receive them as they are, we, yeah. our nervous system has a hard time to be felt because our caregivers do not feel us. So when we want to connect, that belonging, that acceptance, that felt experience is not given. But that limits so much because it limits our confidence and self-worth. Because if we don't feel worthy of being felt to that degree, where are we projecting that in the world? That ability is also about resourcing. You work a lot with resourcing. If we're not able to be felt like that, can we really connect in a community and resource ourselves? So this impacts so much that we don't even think about it. We're just, and I want to give kind of like the numbers, the stats behind so people can understand how staggering it is. So I looked it up yesterday and it was a survey that was done in 24 countries and they discovered that over 70% of adults suffered some kind of trauma and we're talking either someone died or, you know, that tells us how like we're living in a culture of complete trauma, almost everybody's traumatized and we're trying from there to connect where our nervous systems don't even know how to do that anymore. And then we don't understand why we're not happy, why we're not able to go after what we want, why we're not able to be in loving relationships that are divine. You know, and, so, why, and why our world is breaking down, right? And why the world is we breaking down. Not connecting and collaborating and co-creating in the way that human beings actually are made to in order to survive, right? Yeah. So it's an imperative, it's, an, it's a cultural and biological imperative now that we do this work and that we begin to rebuild our relation, our, our relational selves, you know, both relationships with ourselves, relationships with others, relationship with, with life.